even today, guys like Amir, Salman, these guys have so much huge appeal. There will be people out there younger than me. I'm 29 years old. There will be people 10 years younger than me. 18, 19 year old kids who are like Salman Khan is the coolest. Why is that? He has youth appeal. He's honest to who he is, to what he is. Yeah. And everyone can see that he's honest, that he's confident about what he is. He's, he's, he, he's not pretending to be anything he's not. He's saying, this is what I am. Like me or hate me, I don't care. And everyone loves it. You know, the fact is that uh, youth culture has always been something that uh, people struggle to understand. Uh, it's something that when you're young, inherently you're just a part of it and you know what's going on, you know what is cool, you know what you like. There are people who will promote a film based on something that it is not. Uh, there are films that are promoted as comedies and they will turn out to be something else. There are films that are promoted as being very, very bold and very, very sexy and it turns out that, oh, that's just a music video that they made yeah. to get you excited. And what that does is, it gets people in on the first day. The second they get out, they're on their mobile phones, they're updating their Facebook status, they're, they're tweeting and saying, dude, this sucks. Uh, Daily Belly, we worked together on that. Uh, here was a film that I honestly did not think would ever see the light of day. <laughs> <laughs> Through the time we were shooting, I was like, there is not a chance this film will release. There is no way we will get a censor certificate for this. We passed censors with zero cuts. I don't know how it happened, but it happened. The next question is how do we promote this film? What do we do? Uh, we, we have here an English film which has more filthy language in it than any film that has ever released in India. How the hell do we sell this? We come out in front of the audience and say, ladies and gentlemen, we have made a disgusting film. It is chock full of bad language and perverse, dirty humor. Please do not watch it if you are offended by such things. In fact, don't watch it. It's in very bad taste. We were honest and people came running. You go back 10 years and uh, it, it, the situation was pretty dire. Uh, girls were frankly little more than props, interchangeable. She doesn't have dates, drop her, take another one. Uh, today we've reached a point where people are actually writing stronger roles for women. And I think that our audience has also evolved to the point where they're interested in looking at something like that. Uh, and I mean, just the fact that Vidya Balan can open a film and, and take in massive collection of Friday, Saturday, Sunday, that shows A, uh, her, her, her draw as a star, and B, it shows the evolution of the audience, how they're willing to go and watch a female-oriented film. You know, uh, young movies, movies that connect with young people, have always been, uh, they've always been viewed with suspicion by older people. You know, uh, for the record, currently I think we have more than a dozen cases of obscenity filed against us for Daily Benny. Yes, I like it. Woo, give us a round of applause for that. <laughs> no, no, none of those are by young people. You know, this sex taboo, uh, it's, it's such hypocrisy. It is. Because, people. <laughs> because it's, it's about... Uh, uh, someone who's actually, who, who, someone who actually existed. It is based off, semi based off uh, a real person. And for the fact that her films did well back then, shows th this concept of taboo is, some, is a public face. It's something that we, that we talk about, it's something that we hide behind. We go home, everyone's on the net. If you, Imran and Amir have a fight, who will win and why? <laughs> Dude, he, he's, he's been training eh? <laughs> for the whole three. He's going to kick my ass fully. So I will. I, just, I want an answer, answer from her. Will she return my mother's dress? Yes or no? <laughs> if your mother's this size, I what the hell happened to you? It's called a father, the two people. <laughs> okay. Ah. The show is not, I'm, I'm speaking from uh, not a very knowledgeable point of view here, I, I don't really know too much about the show, uh, truth be told. His intention I think is not to connect with the youth exclusively, his intention is to connect with people. 
uh, Amit is a guy who has always tried very hard through everything that he does to reach out to people, to touch their lives and to kind of in, uh, affect their lives in some way, emotionally. And I think that's what he's trying to do with the show. Uh, the little bit that I, that I know about him, the little bit that I have seen, I think he's going to, uh, he's going to succeed with that.